What's up everyone, it's Joey, Blush Response, and today we're checking out the new operating system for the Motor DR2 digital drum machine. Let's get right into it. All right, we got the Motor here with the new operating system. Very curious about this one. Uh, the first thing, uh, there's a couple new models as well as a new overdrive uh, and a tilt EQ. So let's check out the new models. We've got an initialize pattern here and the string BD is the new model. We'll just put some hits down. And I'm just running this completely by itself. Uh, it's going through my manly preamp with just a touch of limiting in case the dynamics get out of control. All right, and so we have the string BD. And I gotta say, I've always liked the sound of this machine. It's made it on quite a few of my tracks. Um, it's just, it's cool. I dig the interface. If you watched my previous review, uh, you might have seen uh, some of my complaints. I, I believe a couple of them have been addressed with this update. But anyway, we'll start shaping that. Okay. Okay, so it's got this kind of like asymmetric harmonic vibe to it. And then this strength. Which is, I guess, another type of harmonic. But anyway, I like the sound of it. We'll put down some B hits. go to 134 BPM. Use the compressor, you do that by holding definable. Yeah, and I believe there's a new button combo for that, but I'm, I'm used to the old one. Put some reverse hits. Put some brakes in. Where's the rest of your... Yeah, and some flame. Not feeling that one. Now we'll try the other model, which is the bottle model. Bottle model. Uh, I hate repeatedly tapping, but I've, I've gotten better at it. We'll meet that. Put some bottles down. Okay. It's kind of like a physical model. Bit of pitch envelope. Mm, okay, I see potential in this. If you put random... Well, unmute the kick. We're using the beta mode to make the, the decay variation there. And I also have random on the Y parameter. Let's add some hats. We're 
were heavily swung out there. Now out of snare. Oh, you know what? We didn't even try the overdrive. So you do that by doing shift and X. We'll quickly do that on the kick. Yes. Yes. I've been missing that. The other cool thing is the tilt filter. Basically, this tilts your EQ favoring upper, uh, higher or lower frequencies, which is really simple for mix. See, got kind of, it's a kind of like a band pass, basically. And that kick is really fucking massive, by the way. So th this is gonna make it much easier to mix the drums. Let's add some overdrive. Overdrive the hats too. Just over, we'll distort everything. some percussion in. Add some accents. <laughs> I still think this machine is really dope, I gotta say. Let's uh, overdrive that one. Put some. Also, the sliders are great. And now this is getting a bit messy mixing wise, so we'll start using that tilt filter. Let's listen to each of our elements. So, okay, see, like this, it's kind of mid rangey. We can tilt filter that. Ooh, and it brings out some kind of aliasing there I didn't notice before. Okay, now we'll, we're gonna mix backwards here. Also, Oh, that two filter sick. Oh, wow, that's a whole lot of range there. But this should also be favoring highs, I think. It's a lot of high end energy there. All right. Gotta find the right balance. We're gonna mix this right. One more percussion. <laughs> I 
And that is a massive ass kick, that new kick. Now, if if I wanted more, I would love the ability to, to record knobs. I just want to record some knobs sometimes. Sequence the pitch. A delay a delay built like this would be perfect and of course you can do the uh you can put a trs into one of the individual outs with an effects pedal in the mix uh and have that effect be part of the sound but i would really love if it was just built in give me one lfo one delay and this machine will hit next level i already think it's really dope though It's a dope pattern. Surprising. Let's hear that more. I like. See, I really love the sound of those engines. Smashing. I'm dancing around the room right now. Sliders. This is massive sounding. It is blowing up my ears right now. Let's go fast. Break core. Till filtering. 
Dankjewel voor het terugkijken. <laughs> that tail filter is like it sounded like the least exciting feature but it's turning out maybe to be my favorite smash okay 250 is the max bpm <laughs> we hit the max slow down slow down slow down <laughs> Motor DR2 OS 6. So that was really fun for me. As I said before, I've been impressed with the Motor DR2 sound since I got it and the overdrive and the tilt filter really took the sound to the next level, giving me that edge that I felt was missing in my previous review where I used it with the Lyra for a bit of overdrive. I think those are great additions. Again, I would still love to see more modulation in the machine because I love the way it sounds. I think the models are super cool and I just want to really fuck them up. Give me more modulation, it needs it an LFO or something. Also, if it's possible, maybe some effects like a simple delay would be cool, but it's not required because you can always process it externally. But again, I think it's a cool machine. The, the control interface is perfect in my opinion, and I think it's dope. As always, samples from this jam and other jams are gonna be on my Patreon. Also, there's gonna be an affiliate link at the bottom. If you wanna buy a DR2, you can buy it from Perfect Circuit through my link and I'll get a kickback. That would be awesome if you did it for me. Uh, and don't forget to smash like and subscribe here. Peace out.